Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, May 26, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And uh, we did rally up towards uh, 4,214, and then gave most of those gains back. At this point, a pullback could be expected. Uh, we'll most likely find a res uh, support down here at 4,150, give or take, and the 50 moving average down here at uh, 4,150. Hundred and then we have all the way down to four thousand, breaking down below four thousand. That could open the door all the way down to the two hundred moving average. So technical indicators they are fairly mixed. MACD is still bearish, so stochastic is bullish. CCI is becoming very bullish, and the RSI is fairly bearish at this current stage. So, so yes, tomorrow will basically say where we where this market is, will go. Um, if we break back down from here, we'll we'll most likely find major support down at the previous lows here as we have seen. We can also draw a line from here and here, and we can see that we could also bounce from this line, which would be roughly 4,100 4, if we draw from here. Otherwise, rally to the upside, we will mostly run into massive resistance at 4,245. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones also gave some of its gains uh, to get uh, away today, and uh, we ran into resistance where we basically ran the resistance the last time we rallied. So we could also see this go and retest the bottom of the bullish band or the 50 moving average down at 33,700 give or take um, before continuing higher. We are kind of trending sideways at this point, and uh, if we were to rally to the upside, then. The top of the bullish band of 34,700 or 800 would also be massive resistant. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, the stochastic is bullish, the CCI is kind of flat, and the RSI flat as well. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ did rally, but gave most of those gains back. And now we are having quite a... Uh, um, bad candlestick here so this was not what i expected i did expect um additional uh, major rally to the upside but due to the fact that we didn't really go anywhere and uh, we ran into resistant at these very highs here so if we don't manage to break uh, these previous highs then we could basically drop um, back towards these previous lows so break below the 50 moving average that could drop this all the way down to to 13,000 and uh, break below that could open the door to the 200 moving average at 12,600. Technical indicators on the daily chart do favor the upside. There is problems, for example, in the weekly chart. They look, it looked really um, bad. It does look a little bit better now, but when we were here, there was a basic warning that we would see a day where we kind of stalled or that we would break down technical indicators for the weekly chart no for our chart aren't that are not looking um that promising to the upside at this current stage but uh, kind of see tomorrow if we basically we could also drop from here and bounce from the 50 moving average but break below the 50 that could open a tidal wave to the downside so let's look at the german dax so german dax did hit its all-time highs here at the 15,000. 591 and then pull back so at this point it if you look just look at um how this has been behaving um in the last if you, uh, basically the last month when we have reached the all-time highs we can see it here it has dropped all the way down to the very bottom same here hit all the way to the bottom so we could expect this to drop all the way down to the 50 moving average that would not be so very surprising for this to drop to 15,130 or even the bottom of the bullish band, which is roughly 15,000. So 15,000 is kind of floor here. Breaking the 15,000 could open the door way, way um, down towards 14 and probably the 200 moving average. But uh, the 50 moving average has been holding really well in the, in the past. But when this has gone towards the very top, it has broken towards support at the 50. 
technical indicators they are at a flat or bearish at this current stage so let's look at the uk 100 so this did really pull back uh, this was expected to rally up towards the uh, 7200 but now we're trading right at 7008 break below the 20 exponential opens the door to the 50 and the 50 we have tested several times in the past and it has bounced from there so 50 is right at 6900 break below the 50 that could open the door to 600 6750 and all the way down to the 200 moving average Taking indicators for the daily chart are not looking very good. MACD is bearish, Stochastic is bearish, CCI is becoming bearish, and the RSI is also uh, fairly bearish. We could also write, uh, draw a line here, not write, draw a line here. We could also bounce from this line. So we could drop down towards, give or take, uh, 6,980, and then continue going higher and uh, break below here. Well, then we are targeting probably most likely the 50. So let's look at the China 50. Go. So there definitely happened something here today. So this has this uh, indice has been battered for a really long time. And today we saw a gain of more than 4% to the upside. So this is significantly overstretched. So I would not be surprised if this pulled back towards Give or take 16, uh, 17,700, which is the previous highs here, or roughly half of this gain. We are way outside of the pulling Japan, on the edge of being overbought. And uh, these moves here usually have pullbacks before they go higher. But this is a fairly impressive move to the upside. So most likely support will be around 17,700. And at this current stage, after these pullbacks, it looks like we are going back towards the previous highs. So, hope you find this helpful. You're able to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button, and see our new messages. And good luck, and thank you very much.